Today's model is on a beautiful Lake Griffin with all-inclusive price between 349 to about 400,000. You can't miss the show. Let's have a look. Let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules and the house behind me is a four bedrooms, two and a half bathroom with a master downstairs all in price of 349 to 400,000. The first thing you're gonna notice, you have this really nice driveway which can easily fit two cars. You have a two car behind. I love the coach light and I also love the color. But what I love is that most of the homes in this community with this builder has some sort of a front posh area. So I really like that. Something that you can always talk to the HOA. And yes, there is an HOA, which is about $100 a month with no CDD. But with the permission of the HOA, you can always screen this area. I personally would like to do that, but that's a choice if you may or may not want to do. So let's go inside and check the rest of this beautiful house out. Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful house. Now guys, if you are looking to buy a house anywhere in Central Florida, Tampa, Tampa Bay, Ocala areas, this is a great resource. Press that thumbs up button, show us some love because we bring you eight plus model homes throughout those areas. And if you are not sure about which area to move into, make sure to check out Orlando Living With D, where I go into communities. We talk about school, shopping, uh, hospitals, dining, everything that you really need to know to kind of get a starting point so you can decide, hey, is Leesburg going to be the right place for me or should I look into Ocala? What is the average median price? So that is something now that thumbs up and subscribe is free for you, but it will help us tremendously. So please help us press that button and subscribe to our channel. And as I walk in, you're gonna see you have the 6-8 door, which is the standard feature with the builder. Now, everything that I show you in this house is pretty much everything that you get. Now, they do have a different package where the color of the tile may be different or the color of the granite and your cabinets may be different. So that is something to keep in mind. This is a four bedrooms, two and a half bathroom with a master bedroom downstairs. So if you've been thinking about buying a four bedrooms, two and a half bathroom home with a master bedroom downstairs, then this is it. And the price is anywhere from 349,000 to 400. The price difference depends upon which kind, because they have three different variations with four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. I've already done a model for the other one, which was a little bit on the lower side, which was about 2,225 or 2,205 square foot. So if it's not released, it will be releasing very soon. So you have these tiles that kind of go all the way till you get to your family living or the great room. Now you have this space right over here, which is your half a bathroom right off the bat. It's not too big of a space, but it's pretty comfortable. So you have half a bathroom over here. You have the standing uh, sink over here. And then you, you have the tiles and I love that you have this really nice chandelier. At least with this builder, they give you a little bit of a better chandelier than what I've seen with other builders. And this is the first time I'm covering, actually the second time I'm covering this builder. So, and as I go upstairs, which I will in a minute, I want you to know that these banisters are included in the price with some builders such as Pulte, Lancy, Meritage, you got to pay extra for it and it's considered an upgrade. With this builder, it's included. The price of the lot is included. Everything is included. You do get a range, your microwave and your dishwasher. Now your, your washer and dryer is not included and refrigerator is not included, but right now, they're doing something amazing that I've heard. They are buying the rate down to 5.99 while the rates right now at the time of the shoot are almost seven and a half eight percent depending upon how much money you're putting down so that is something to look into it there is no cdd and the lot size is 40 by 120 so depending upon uh, if it's a corner lot or if it's how deep how where where it is if it's not on a slope you can easily build a small pool you also have the two-car garage let me take you inside because i want to point out a couple of things in the garage first and foremost this is a concrete block so you have the block on the first floor and then the frame on the second but what i want to point out is that your lawn care irrigation system is inside i personally build a house where the lawn care system is outside so that is just something and the other thing is that your water heater is actually behind a wall, which is kind of very smart because in my personal house, 
it's on the floor with a little pole by the coat that they need and it's not behind the wall. I kind of like that it's kind of hidden and it's kind of out of way. So let's go back inside the house and I want you to see how far these tile goes and this is included in the price. Now they have different kind of granite, different kind of flooring. So it really depends upon what package do you get and that's what something that I'm going to let you know. Now over here, is your pantry which is really nice it's kind of right across from your your kitchen and it's right underneath the cavity of the staircase and what i love about this is that you have a really nice granite but look at your cabinets here so you have the espresso color with really nice handles now this is the microwave that you get this is the rain hood that you get and the whirlpool dishwasher is what you get with a 50 50 sink now i'm not a huge fan and probably it's it's a matter of personal choice because in my culture we cook with a lot of spices sometimes the smell stays there so it, it really depends but it would have been nice if they would have vented it out now if you're going to build from scratch and guys i will tell you right now if you are looking and you're just sitting around the edge because the rates are high please look into the homes where there are inventory homes because we have helped clients buy houses because the builder is making it affordable. If you're going to start from scratch, now keep in mind, builder already owns the dirt. So it doesn't cost him anything because they already bought the land for the dirt to sit around. But when they have an inventory house like the one here, it's all done. It's costing them electricity, it's costing them utilities, it's costing them insurance, it's costing them money and the upkeep. So they will be more willing to work with you. Talking about willing to work, right now on their inventory home, they're giving you a 5.99% rate buy down for 30 years, plus $10,000 on top of it for your closing costs and prepaid. And right now with the rates, they're seven and a half to 8%, depending upon how much money you're putting down. So that is something to keep in mind because when the rates changes, you can always refinance. Let's just say they don't change, right? Hopefully you had a good rate to start with. If they go down, you refi. If they go up, you already had a good rate. So the question that I really need you to ask yourself is, is this the right time for you to buy if you can afford the payment with the current rate and the current prices? Because I honestly do not see market crashing. I do see on a resale, about 10% of variance, but with the builder, what they are doing is they're not reducing that much, especially on brand new home, they're not doing anything. Like on brand new home that you start from scratch, but on inventory home, they're making it affordable because they're buying down the rate. And what really happens is with big builders such as DR Horton, Lancy, Meritage, they get a big chunk of money, like they'll go to the bank and borrow $100 million for first time home buyers or, or or we alone or whatever, and then they get a good rate and they try to pass you the savings because they are doing it in bulk. So that is something to keep in mind. And if you've been dreaming about finally moving to Florida and you don't want to be in the hustle and bustle of Orlando with all the parts and everything, then this could be a really good place. Now, unfortunately, they do not give you a refrigerator, but that is not to say that we cannot negotiate because right now with the way the market is, we can always ask and I've always believed in thou shall ask and thou may get. So it's all about asking. So we don't shy away from asking. What's the worst that could happen? They can say no, but hey, if we can get you more concessions to be able to make the house more affordable, then so be it. And that's what we are going to do. So right over here is your great room and look at all the space over here like it's really nice but you have this really nice big window you have another window bringing in a really good amount of light let me go ahead and take you outside now this is the door that you get within that price point that i told you and look at your outside you have this covered lanai area and then this is where your size of the lot goes to now see how at an elevation that is when we go upstairs you have a really nice beautiful view of the lake right behind you. Imagine yourself buying a house in a community that gives you a, a, a boat ramp or you can get your jet ski if you like water and, and you can get into the public lake and do fishing or, or whatever you want to do in your community itself, which does not have an HOA. There's a thought lot, there is uh, no CDD and it's only $100 a month. I'm like, isn't that amazing? So let's go over here to the master bedroom and wow, one thing that I love, because I have not seen this with any of my other builders and I've done 
over 200 to 300 homes with different builders. This is the builder that I'm covering for the second time that they have extra lights in the master bedroom. That is something that I always say. Now, if you are going to be building a home from scratch, please make sure to watch out well, look for my, my videos that I've done on do's and don'ts of building a brand new home because I talk about things where you should spend money, where you shouldn't spend money. And then right over here is your walk-in closet. And you know, I'm a little bit disappointed because there's not a lot of space, but for the price and for the square footage, I think it's it probably work as a nice starter home to start with. And if you are like, like my wife, then all the closets and all the bedrooms it's still not gonna be enough, but that's just my take. So you have this walk-in shower area right over here with the plexiglass. Now they do have another model where the closet for the master bedroom is humongous because everything is on the first floor. So that is something to keep in mind. But what I love is that with all their master bedroom, they have the two sinks with the granite. You know, so you have the granite, you have this, these are the faucets that you get. And then right over here is your water closet area. I used to always call them toilet until I met with one of my clients from up Northwest and they said water closet D. And then they also taught me, I always say granite. I think they said granite or I don't know, some abbreviation or some way of saying granite. And then right over here, you have the linen closet or the or the towel closet or something. So let's go upstairs and check rest of it out. Let me know what you think of this because they have another variation of a four bedrooms, two and a half bathroom, and also the price differ depending upon the square footage. Now, please keep in mind, I have always said that, that it's not the square footage that really matters. What really matters is the flow of the house. The flow of the house has to work before anything else. So let's go upstairs and check rest of this house out. As I come upstairs, I want to point out that you have this really nice big window bringing in a good amount of light. And then you also have this handrail, which is actually required by the code. Now the closet space wasn't that great, but look at this space right over here. Like look at all this space. You have the light. I would have preferred to have some extra light, but this could be your own family, private family living area. Or if you don't have kids, you can make this into a gym. You could do so many things. You have a window up there a window in the corner, there's so much things that you could do. Like for me, if I was to live here, I would probably make this my kids play area. I'm like, they have so many toys that they can make a mess here. So when somebody comes to my house, they're like, oh, your house is so clean. Like, no, oh, you haven't seen the second floor of my house, but let's go over here. This is where you have your secondary bedroom and you have this nice window. And this is what I was talking about that you can actually see the lake view because you're at an elevation. So from here you can see. So this is why the difference is in terms of the price point, depending upon the location of the lot. So whenever you have a lot that's either on the water or the lot that is giving you some sort of a water view, the price is always going to be a little bit more. You also have the closet area right over here. What I love is that you have the doors that kind of opens into your closet. And then as I go outside, what I do want to point out are these baseboards. If you look at the baseboard, regular, like usually you get like three and a one fourth. This one is a little bit bigger baseboard as a standard feature with the builder. And then this is where you have your laundry room. So you have your washer, you have your dryer, and it's a pretty good size. I would probably get rid of this and probably put some cabinet. It's not big enough to have a wash station, but definitely something like it's a good size to, to kind of put your wash. You know how sometimes you look at those wash and dry and they're like just this much and you barely have room. So this is really nice size. And then right over here is your secondary bathroom with the double sink. Now with my two sons, this would be nice. I'm like, all I gotta do is maybe put another divider there. So this is Ishan's, this is Yuan's. But what I love is that you have this door. So somebody could be taking a shower while another one could be brushing their teeth and kind of get ready. So this is really nice that you have this door. Shower tub combination with the plexiglass. Now that is something I'm not a huge fan of, but that is something you can always change. But for the price, at least, it gets me into the house because right now, even with the rental guys, the, the rates on the rentals have gone up quite high too. So you got to look at the numbers. And I say this all the time, you got to start your own, like start building your own equity because 
you know, the rent is not going to help you. So that, that is just something that I can tell you because one way or the other, you're still paying a mortgage. If it's not yours, it's your landlord. So just keep those things in mind. And then this is where you have the third bedroom with this really nice big window, bringing in a good amount of light. But the best part is that you have the closet door. It's not a big closet, but I'm just super excited to just show you the closet door that kind of takes you to your closet. Then to have those split ones, or you know the, the one that kind of rolls and then I can never roll them right because they're always falling off the groove, but that's just the story of my life. And then over here is another closet space. So this house has a lot of space. So the closet space downstairs in the master bedroom kind of get complimented because you have a lot of space over here. And then this is the final bedroom over here. Now guys, I do want to introduce one of my Spanish agent partner, Carolyn, come on in. So this is Carolyn Maldonado. Hi. And her Spanish is poquito times 10. Mine is still poquito, but she will be running Orlando Home Show in Espanol with Anna. And we all know Anna does a fantastic job. And if Spanish is your main language and, and you like to watch the same houses that we do, she's gonna be doing that with Anna in Spanish and she is local so she knows this area like a back of her hand and she can help you and guide you so make sure you check us out and if you haven't pressed that thumbs up button please do so because now we are TikToking and Instagram and please check us out would you like to say something Mera? Yes, the well <laughs> so again my name is Karen Maldonado my main language is Spanish so I'll definitely be um it's my pleasure to take care of all the Spanish-speaking clients and customers uh, like he said, uh, like he said, I am from this area. I live like 20 minutes from here. So I can tell you that this location is excellent. And again, for the price, it's $350 or $400,000. And you can get a lake view or even a lakefront. Please don't miss out this opportunity. And uh, you know, one thing also that I heard that the builder was saying that they will, for the first time home buyer, all they need is $1,000, right? Correct. It's just $1,000 if you're a first time home buyer. If you're like, if this is your secondary home, they're only asking for $6,000. Wow, which is unheard of because for so now, long, for so long, for the last year and a half, they were asking 10, 15, 20% down. To book a house for $1,000, that is fantastic, you know, and then you're gonna go through the process of being able to, and they're also buying the rates down, right? Correct, and also remember, like if you go through their lender, you also get a huge chunk of money in closing costs towards, you know, to, towards helping to your closing costs. So it's like a no brainer. Well, fantastic. Well, we look forward to serve you. Thank you so much for watching our videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, right? Yes. Yes, press that button. Thank you for watching. Until the next model show. See you soon. Bye for now. Bye.